Hey guys, welcome back to the channel, George. So we got the Primewell Cut 60 DP Plasma Cutter here. It's a 60 amp machine, runs on 110, 220 volts, and 60 amps is the max you're gonna get on 220 volts. Now the website claims this machine can cut up to seven eighths of an inch material, and we got some material to do some testing today. And we're gonna start the video by a quick unboxing. There's many, many videos that go really intensive on the unboxing. I'm gonna go through it really quick. And I'm gonna spend most of the time doing the testing. Now, other videos I saw, they stack plates on top of each other. They'll put three quarter inch plates to uh, simulate a three quarter inch uh, plate. But I went ahead and actually got three quarter inch plate. And one inch plate. Seven eighths is right in between three quarters and one inch. So I wanna see if we can cut this and then this. Now, before we start the cutting, guys, if you can leave a, a like or a comment or even subscribe to the channel, it would really help the channel grow and I can do more videos like this. So um, let's get to the unboxing followed by the cutting. All right, guys, so the box states it's 50 pounds. And if you have any questions, you can go ahead and email Prime World. You can talk to Justin or Gene and they'll be able to help you out with any questions you have. So we got the user's manual. We got the earth ground. It's 110 to 220 volt adapter. We got this adapter here for your uh, plasma cutter to kind of pin out your uh, plasma cutting table. Face shield with a brush and chip and hammer combo there. This one should be the cord. Now, I don't know how long the, the torch is here. It's a bit different than the cut 50 that I had. You got the little wrench, an electrode, and a nozzle. And like I mentioned, I'm going fast through here because there's many unboxing videos. Alright guys, so we're slightly over 70 PSI there, 60 amps. Uh, the post flow, I'm going to leave it at 10 for right now. Uh, I don't think we really need that right now. 65. So when you hit the set air there, that actuates your uh, torch and you can see where the pressure is going to drop to. Uh, leave it on 2T there. Yeah, I'm going to try to do this freehand. I went ahead and drew a line on here. Don't have much uh, where to put my hand here for support, so let's give it a shot.
I think I went too fast. I would just cut off there on that little small corner. Now the machine's not rated for one inch. We're gonna give it a shot. That's the one inch, looks very good. Very good. And it was basically caught up there on the slag. Three quarters, very nice. Um, this one had a previous cut here, that's why it looks kind of weird there. That's half inch right here. Three eighths quarter and one eighth tell me what you guys think about those cuts there 60 amps of power once again it's freehand and don't have much support there came out pretty good let me see what else I can cut There we go guys, took a bit longer than I uh, expected. Had to do some cuts this way, that way, so. Go ahead and cut it so I'm impressed. All right guys, so the thickest part here is about an inch and a half. So the plasma cutter couldn't go all the way down because it's solid metal all the way down. So I got some horizontal, some vertical, diagonal cuts and we were able to cut it Took us a bit there, but we also have a lot of molten metal there because the material is basically beyond the capabilities of this machine, but we were able to cut it. Here's a one inch. As you can see, exactly one inch there. The half inch, actually three quarters there half inch, three-eighths, quarter, and the one-eighth. Now, how did the machine do? Well, I think it did fantastic. Didn't expect all these cuts to be as nice and to actually go through three-quarter or one inch that nicely. And this was just a bonus. All these are freehand. If you use a guide similar to a a piece of steel like this you can guide your plasma cutter and get way better cuts now the machine once again it's the prime weld cut 60 it's the biggest plasma cutter made by prime weld and um, other than that it exceeded all my expectations and basically left me in shock because i didn't expect this one inch plate to be cut that easily with this machine so um check them out at primeweld.com and um you know, put a comment below and tell me what you think about this machine. I mean, I think it's great. So, see you in the next video, guys. Like I said before, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. Leave a comment, a like. It helps out a lot. And um, I'll be able to make more videos like this in the future. All right, guys. If you're new to plasma cutting, 
this is how easy it is to remove all the slag. Now this is one inch steel and the slag is, uh, it's built up more on this than on the thinner material there, but comes off really nice. Then you can get your grinder and just finish it off there. All right guys, so I'm close to 90 PSI in the tank. All the cuts were done with a compressor off, just the volume in here. This is a 60 gallon Dewalt compressor and there are the specs.